I think what Sangrakshita has set up and how he has inspired people to spread his message through the world in a very practical way. And I think his great legacy is his emphasis on Sangha. Um, or oh, one of his great legacies is his emphasis on Sangha and the way we've set up Sangha between ourselves. Um, that's what I think is well worth promoting. And I've yet to come across another Buddhist group that do it near as well. Um, it's not only what he said and done himself, what Sangrakshita has helped people, what he set other people up to say and do in his name um, under his banner is breathtaking. It's breathtaking, really. I can look back on years of when things were very small and see how things are now. And that's come under Sangrakshita's banner. And if I look at Buddhist centres, for instance, there were so few um, when I began to practice um, and some of them were very, very small. And now so many towns in this country have Buddhist centres. There are so many Buddhist groups about and people aren't, don't have to work alone um, because people are part of a Sangha. People have access to other order members um, we have a system of all the weekends and we have um, a system of um, the Mitra system, the preceptor system, where we can help and support and live together, um, speak together and get help from each other so that we can go out and do more work. I think that's Sangrakshita's legacy or one of Sangrakshita's legacies because he has many. I see other people write really great stuff, um, but somehow, quite often, that is quite contained in a small area. Um, Sangrakshita, I think, spreads across the world, truly, in a way I don't think other Buddhist groups, Buddhist practitioners do as much.